Hey, have you picked up your copy of The Mysterious Language of Dreams yet? In this book, I go more in depth about dreams and dream interpretation than I do on my YouTube videos. I talk about the depth dimension of dreams, dream layers. I talk about the time dimension of a dream. Also, dreams and the imagination, which is quite interesting. I also have put over 40 real life, actual dreams that people have dreamt in the book for you to practice your interpretation skills. Also in the back of the book is a dream dictionary with over 400 dream symbols. So I've left a link in the description box below where you can go and pick up your copy of the mysterious language of dreams today. Most of us have had nightmares or frightening dreams at one time or another, but some have experienced nights of terror from strange spirits that come into their dreams and perform unspeakable acts. So let's talk about dreams that reveal a spiritual spouse. First, I want to establish what a spiritual spouse is. The phrase spiritual spouse is actually used in shamanism, which is a religious practice that involves a shaman interacting with demon spirits through altered states of consciousness. Now, many people in different cultures believe that having a spirit spouse will cause them to become successful in witchcraft. But a spiritual spouse is actually a demon spirit that unites with an individual and claims them as their husband or wife, whether the person is married in real life or not. These demons seek to become deeply intimate with a person they've targeted. Their motive is to steal your joy, your peace, and your destiny. They come to destroy and disrupt your marriage and all romantic relationships. And they seek to demolish every plan and intention that God has for you. So some of the negative effects of engaging with a spiritual spouse can be that you may have difficulty getting married or staying married. These demons are jealous and aggressive and will try to block all potential spouses and anyone who wants to have a romantic relationship with you. They stir up trouble and cause all kinds of problems in the marriage relationship. These spirits will also attack the womb, causing fertility issues, miscarriages, and even stillbirths. This is especially true if there is no medical reason for infertility. But I want you to keep in mind that a spiritual spouse is not always the reason for these problems, but they certainly can be. Now, some biblical scholars believe that these spirits were first mentioned in Genesis 6 verse 4, where it says, The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterward, when the sons of God went to the daughters of humans and had children by them. They were the heroes of old, men of renown. Now, there are different theories to this passage, but the sons of God were said to be fallen angels who took on human form and had sexual relationships with women, thereby producing the Nephilim, which were a group of giants. These demons also go by the names of Incubus and Succubus. It's the same demonic entity that takes on these two forms. Incubus is the male form who sexually assaults women as they sleep and even in their dreams. Incubus comes from two Latin words, incubo, which means nightmare, and incubare, which means to lie on. The female form is succubus, and in Latin, that word means to lie beneath. This same demon spirit also attacks men in the same way as Incubus attacks women as they sleep. In fact, this spirit is mentioned in the book of Isaiah, the 34th chapter and the 14th verse, 
where God pronounces a curse on Edom because they attacked and killed their brother nation, Judah. And it says, the creatures of the desert will encounter jackals and the hairy goat will call to its kind. Indeed, Lilith will settle there and find herself a place of rest. So Lilith is a demon spirit in female form who lurks and operates at night or in the dark and is thought to be the demon behind the succubus spirit. These spirits can enter your life through many different open doors, such as witchcraft and occult practices like astrology, fortune telling, and using Ouija boards. It can come in through pornography, adultery, and fornication, and even gain access through generational lines where your parents or your grandparents, or even your great-grandparents have committed any of these sins. These demons can form attachments through molestation, rape, and sexual abuse. Also, if one spouse has this spirit, it can open a door for the other spouse to be attacked. Now, this is my personal opinion, but I believe these spirits are similar, if not the same, to the demonic presence behind night terrors. Now, not all night terrors are caused by demons, but a great many are. These demon spirits, like spiritual spouses, come to oppress and pin you down in order to gain control through fear and intimidation. So let's look at some dreams that reveal a spiritual spouse. Number one, dreams of intimacy with a stranger. If you have dreams where you're being intimate with a stranger, this could be revealing a spiritual spouse. You can either see the stranger's face clearly in the dream, and they usually be very handsome, very manly, or very beautiful and gorgeous if they were a woman, or the face is darkened or blurred. I want you to keep in mind that this is not God's way of showing you your future spouse. God will never use a sinful situation or a sexually suggestive scenario to reveal his plans and purposes for your life. So if you have dreams like this, they're probably pointing to a spiritual spouse. Number two, intimacy with a celebrity. Some people have had dreams where they're in an intimate situation with a celebrity or a well-known person. This type of dream can also be revealing a spiritual spouse attachment. The celebrity in the dream is usually someone whom the dreamer has seen on TV or in movies or someone whom the dreamer greatly admires. So being intimate with a celebrity in a dream can be revealing that you have a spiritual spouse. Number three, intimacy with someone you know. So demons in dreams can masquerade as other people. So you can have a dream that you're being intimate with someone you know, such as a friend or a pastor or a co-worker or even someone else's spouse. This person in the dream is not the actual person, but in fact can be a demon masquerading as that person. So intimacy with someone you know in a dream can be revealing that a spiritual spouse is at work. So if you believe that you may have a spiritual spouse, reject, rebuke, and bind that spirit in the name of Jesus and anoint yourself with oil before going to sleep and pray for God's covering of protection while you're asleep. Here it is, Understanding the Language of Dreams, Course 1. In this course, you'll learn why dreams are so mysterious. You'll learn about the six visional states taken from the Bible relating to visions. You'll discover the different domains of a dream. You'll also learn how to determine what role you and others play in your dream, which is important for correct interpretation and much more. I've also included fun exercises so you can practice what you've learned. Just click on the link below and get your course of understanding the language of dreams. Have you had any dreams that could be pointing to a spiritual spouse? 
If so, I want to hear about it. Leave it in the comment section. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and hit that subscribe button and become a part of the dream team and go ahead and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any upcoming videos. I'll talk to you next time.